keeping forward to your last album with The View. I saw that it's produced by Albert Hammond Jr. I mean, how was that? What was he like to work with? Uh, he was brilliant, man. No, obviously, he's a massive fan in that, like uh, uh, The Strokes, but uh, he was all of his dad's songs as well. Oh, yeah. But um, he's... Uh, that was that was really cool. I mean, we went to we were recording it in Hamburg, and the re- the reason we called the album Rope Walk is because uh, well, Reaper Band means Rope Walk, so that's kind of where we recorded it in the Reaper Band. Uh, right. so that means German, so some shit like that. I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah, that was cool. We, did, we were there for about five weeks. We were recording it in a place called Cloud Hill, um, which is a big, like really cool German studio, and uh, I mean. So it's weird because like some of the songs would, would, would I had we had rehearsed we rehearsed for like six weeks before it like every day. When we rehearse, we do it like we've got this rule where we do like a five song a five song joint. So you've got to get the song perfect five times. I don't smoke weed, but the rest of the boys love it. They're just peeing in the mouth. But uh, but after five songs, you've got to. That's when you do. A, after five songs, getting them perfect, that's when you you're allowed to go for the joint. Right. No, you've got to do the one song five times perfect. So it's the five song joint, but then. So we had been in rehearsal room for, and we had, I think we had like 25 songs and then, and they were all perfect and like rehearsed up and ready to go. And he, Albert was supposed to be coming to meet us in Glasgow where we were doing it. We ended up not coming to do the pre-production. So, uh, but we went in blind and then Albert had, uh, Albert had like listened to all these phone demos we had done and he picked like 15 of them, which were none of the ones we had rehearsed. And he put them together and like all these different songs. We were like, oh, fuck's sake. But at the time, we were kind of saying, look, we need to try something different here. So we all agreed to just go with it, um, even though we weren't really comfortable with it. But then, I mean, it sounds cool, man. I mean, there's, there's a lot of songs that, that never made it that, I, that I've still got. That, that I'm like, oh, shit, that would have been great on the album, but we've just never done them because we just went with it. But it was a cool process. I mean, there wasn't a lot of drinking going on that, on that on these sessions because... Uh, was that when he was getting sober as well? Yeah, yeah, he was sober then, yeah. So, like, yeah. We, we, were, we were sober, but we were, uh, but we respected it, you know what I mean? So it was like... Yeah, of course. But it was a good time, but it was, you know what I mean? It was like, what, it was October, like January, I it was it? October, or November or something, it was like, I ended up, like, being, being a bit depressing, you know what I mean? And then when you went out, it was dark, when you woke up, it was dark, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, but, uh, sorry, I just went inside for a wee bit. Right. But uh, but I mean it was it was it was a cool time. But I mean I I felt like a lot. I would have liked to. Have, that's another one of these things. If you go back, you would like to take more control. Do you know what I mean? But that was just something that we just we just all agreed and said, "No, we just fucking we just go for it." Yeah, it's, it's mean, quite it's quite interesting that he chose a completely different batch of songs. So yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and, and so, obviously that made the album something completely different to what you were expecting as well. Yeah, I mean, it did make you, it made you think more, because you're going, because on one hand you're going, right, we've got Albert here, right, he's a fucking hero, and he's, and he's the guy from the strokes everyone knows, apart from Albert, apart from Julian, you know what I mean, but like, everyone's like, Albert, I'm junior, he, he's like saying he's in, he's so famous, he's cool, fuck, he's brilliant, so we were like, oh, he's a legend, just fucking let's just do it, so the songs that we heard were like, were like, sounding fucking awesome, like, they were really good, and we'd been working on them so hard, and and also, our last record was no, the, no. The, the last two records were pretty not overproduced, but they were very big producers. That was like Mike Crossy and and, and Youth, who are like fucking legends in the game. You know what I mean? So yeah, that one was a total step back. And it was like it was just, I mean, to, now I love it, I and mean, I love it now. But at the time, I didn't really like it. It was a bit like fucking like even the songs like they're just they weren't they never had massive choruses, but people liked that about it. People were just kind of got good reviews rather than just getting. Whatever, you know what I mean? So it was a bit different. It was darker. I mean, it felt, it felt strange, but it felt underproduced, and it felt like that. I like to kind of have control. I've got a system where I write songs where it's like I don't know what it is, but I do it, and I always kind of turn at the same thing. But then once we get that, that's where we're, the band kick in, and we kind of do this thing. And if Keith Kieran's the way Kieran writes songs, he's a bit more um, sort of erratic, which is great because I'm, 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 I'm quite straightforward, and that's what that's what gives it a good gel. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, like not, I'm not straightforward, but I mean, it, I'm, I'm, I'm in a different kind of music, and Kieran's in a different kind of music, so we kind of put that mm-hmm. together. Like, I, I love like proper like like structure and like, you know what I mean? Like, and Kieran like songs where the the, the verse like like pokes like some of the verses are going for like fifteen verses and stuff, and I'm like, when's the, how could you ever learn that? There's too many, you know what I mean? So, I like stuff that I've been jamming since I was since I was a kid, and that I could 
that I could play again, do you know what I mean? And over and remember what it is. And, um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but it was, I remember we sat down and, and it was kind of like, it was kind of, you made the band kind of fall out a wee bit, a wee bit, because we were like, all sitting there like, in the room and he was like, okay, here's my list of songs. And we'd already agreed to go along. And we were like, what is this? Um, why is that on it? That's not even a song. That was just, a, we, we sent him all our voice memos, right? And he was like, I like this. And he was like, well, that's yeah. it's like Marriage. I'd sent him this thing, Marriage, which was the first single ender up being. And he was like, I love this and I want you to go and write another, uh, write a, uh, Right, another part. And you've got to remember, like before, when we were with producers, we would have normally said, "Fuck off, I'm not doing that." Like, no way, you're you're not the writer. This is just mess. This is mess on. Yeah, but right. I <laughs> totally agree. Just to say, no, let's let's just do it. So that was it. With someone like Albert, I guess he's just like he's an idol, isn't he? Yeah, and I mean, he's more like uh, compared to everyone else. He's more of a musician as well, so he kind of gets it. So yeah. I mean. It was also uh, Gus Orberg who like done a few Strokes albums as well, so he was there like uh, because Albert was just started producing albums, I think. So he was like he was like the sort of the sound guy, and Albert was the idea guy, kind of thing. I think I think that's how it went, but it kind of made us like like a few boys and that. We kind of I remember one time where Kieran sung um, "Tenement Light" it was called, and uh, like I remember thinking I had this idea for a middle eight, you know. We ended up being like, uh, I came out in the room and they were like, oh, we don't want to do that idea anymore. And I was like, boys, what the fuck? And they kind of, I remember feeling like they were going against me, you know what I mean? Just for the sake of, I remember feeling bullied. But like, obviously I was just being up there twat. I mean, it was Kieran's song, but I was like, demanding this bit in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, the pink, big Pink Floyd breakdown after a pure, a, a pure rapid fucking 4-4 four, four punk song. It was like, dum, 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 dum. it was mental. So like, um, <laughs> I remember just thinking that, like, even now I'm like, shit, like, but that was what I made it do. There's a lot of songs where, because a, a lot of our, like, me and Kieran songs, like, never made it. Like, we were like, well, why? It was, it was kind of hard to swallow, do you know what I mean? And listen to somebody else telling you what to do. But, right, yeah, of course. Just yeah. the way of it, yeah. But it was cool, man. Yeah.